What up, what up, what up, folks? It's Logo, the Black Alachi. How y'all doing tonight? So I'm just going through my final gear list, man. Uh, I leave in four days. Uh, I leave on Monday. So with that being said, um, got all my gear set out um, for the most part. Well, for 98% of the part. Um, so we're going to start over here. Just I just want to show y'all what I'm taking. Um, you know. I know everybody is different, everybody, but some people pack super ultra light, some people pack heavy, they don't care about no weight or nothing like that. Um, I'm trying to find a happy medium, you dig what I'm saying? So, start off with some clothes. I got this zip off, pants, shorts, uh, moisture wicking, I guess you could call them. A couple moisture wicking shirts, uh, compression socks, liner socks. I got these fleece pants, like they kind of heavy, a little, just a little bit. They really pretty light, but um, they pretty warm. I done had them for a while, but I'm gonna bring them just in case. I might not need them. I might have to send them home, but we'll see how things go. Um, you know, when I get up on the top of the mountains and stuff. Uh, I got, uh, let me see. I got my performance underwear and my my uh, form the feet socks in the washing machine right now, cause I had been wearing them, trying them out just to test them and see. Okay. Um, Got my Thermarest Z Light Soul, I think it is. I don't know if it's Soul or I don't know. Z Light. Um, got my fishing kit. Everybody keeps saying, "Ah, oh, man, that's just extra weight. You don't want to take it, man." But I've been seeing a lot of nice lakes um, from the videos I've been watching, so I I take that chance. I I don't mind the weight. I just went and bought me this new nice little rat for bass fishing. I got me a couple rooster tails in there too. Matter of fact, I just went and bought a couple rooster tails today. Uh, that's one of my favorite artificial lures, rooster tail. Got my Carolina fishing license, so once I get in North Carolina, we good. Uh, you know. Uh, shout out to Early Riser for the recommendation on this muscle recovery stick. That was that's I think is an essential item for cramps and shin splints and stuff like that. From what I've been seeing, he been using it from all the research I've done, it's a pretty good item. So, I'm glad I got that. Picked it up at Dick's for a pretty good price. Got these Lecky Poles from REI. Oh yeah, and shout out to REI, man. They had a great sale going on this April. Uh, the beginning of April, I think it ended on the 10th. Uh, they had, a, I think 20 or 25% off for members. So that was great. That's when I got my tent and everything and the poles and my shoes and everything, boots and whatever, trail runners, whatever you want to call them. Uh, so yeah, let me see, got me a ski mask, just in case, you know, get super cold up there. I got a couple other toboggans, but I just like the ski mask because I can pull it down and it coming down over my dreads and over my ears and don't have no problems. You know, these other ones getting kind of small with my hair growing out, so, you know, that's the thing. Um, my clothes bag. My machete, little towel, camp towel, uh, couple bandanas, that's always good. I got my Marrows, my trail runners, nice good tread on. They feel great too. I, oh, I sized up on them, so they feel good. I meant to give me some Crocs, but hell, I figure, man, these just as light as Crocs, you know, and they flatter, and they more ergonomical as far as fit. They, they slide down in your pack a little bit better. Um, this is, my sleeping bag, got it in the REI stuff sack. But this is my uh, North Face 20 degree sleeping bag. Um, compressed pretty good. This is my food bag. Uh, weigh about six or seven pounds, I would say, at the most. Uh, ain't, ain't too bad. Basically the same stuff that's in here. You know, my ramen, my pepperonis, and Folgers, jerky. And I took and made my own trail mix. Uh, you know, vacuum seal my own trail mix. Got jerky in there, a bunch of pepperoni. That's a big bag of pepperoni, I like that. Uh, you know, little snack bars, the little energy bars or whatever. Little potatoes, squeeze cheese, almond butter, little rice, this is instant rice. Um, so that's a good thing. Some seasoning. That good old bay. You got to have some good old bay. You know? Uh, a couple hand warmers each in each of my drop boxes just in case it get I got some cold nights. 
I don't know if we run into too many of those, but you know, I I, I, I get kind of cold at times, you know, I'm kind of skinny, you know, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, also with my, I got sugar and spices, all that type of stuff there. Um, and I also went and bought these to hold them because they got the ones at REI, but they like $10 for the little salt shaker, uh, little spice holder, I guess you can call it. Um, but hell, these was at the dollar store. These are pill holders. These was at the um, Dollar Tree for a dollar. So I got plenty of those. So we're good on that. Uh, this is the tent, the Nemo, the two person Hornet. Man, it worked great. I had it out, been testing it out in the backyard and stuff. It rained real hard one day, had pretty heavy winds, um, but no water on the inside. So, and all the reviews I read been great on it. So I think we're good with this. I, I put the tent and the footprint in here, keep my poles separate, just to make sure, you know, nothing try to poke a hole in there. And I, I just think it'll be, I can slide this with my, uh, let me see. Shit, I had something long in here. Um, I could just, it, it, it'll fit better, I, I, I think. Uh, got me a frog talk jacket, rain jacket. I ain't too much worried about, uh, I would guess you can say uh, uh, rain pants or nothing like that, cause you're gonna get wet anyway. And I'd rather just have on some shorts. I'd rather just bust them down the shorts and wear those and just let them get wet before I try to get a kilt or some rain pants or something and, and have that moisture trapped inside. I'd rather just let it free and let it be quicker to dry out in my opinion. I don't know, maybe your opinion, it might be not, not true, but whatever. Um, hike your own hike as they say. Uh, I got my Osprey 30, 38, um, everything fit in here too, pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Uh, got my platypus. No, this is a Osprey Hydro Pack, two liter. Um, so, but that's good. Smart water bottle. I still got to get me a little scoop cup. Um, but I got some plastic bottles downstairs for that. Um, and get me another smart water bottle. So I can be able to carry me three or four liters because I'm gonna be drinking throughout the day. So the, the weight, the weight of lessen up. So we'll be good on that. Got my first aid pack. It's a bunch of stuff in there. Um, the hell, I even got a syringe in here. So it's it's a bunch of stuff, a bunch of nice stuff in here. Plus I got some more ibuprofen, stuff like that. You dig what I'm saying? Um, let me see. I'm still debating. After, after doing a lot of hiking and stuff lately, I've been debating whether I'm gonna actually take the camera, cause it is kind of heavy, um, kind of bulky at the same time. And I don't want to break a lens or break the camera, stuffing it down in the pack. Um, I also don't want to risk getting it wet. I got a case for it, but let me see. Uh, see the case, the case is pretty big, so the case ain't gonna fit. So, and here's my other boxes. Here, let me see, hold on. Let me turn on the other lights. Yeah, here go my drop boxes. I got them pretty much ready. And I don't know if y'all, if I showed y'all this, but I made this. I found this out the last time I was out at Crowder's Mountain. Just a regular stick. I just took it home, peeled it off, sanded it down real good, stained it then I would burn the black alachin in it. You know, I was just using this as a good staff until uh, my hiking pose came in. But now we got my trekking pose, we good on that. Uh, okay, see, let's see what's next, what's next? Um, got my, my cooking things here. Cooking system, whatever you wanna call it. If y'all wanna be technical, I ain't really super technical. I ain't super military time. Shout out to early rise. I know people that are, but just for me personally, it's not that serious. But collapsible cup. I ain't even used it yet. You see plastic still on it. Um, got my MSR stove, fuel, cook pot. Simple, pretty simple. My food bag rope, uh, my five and one compass, whistle, uh, uh, match holder, mirror, something else, I think. Earplugs. Got my flint, my 
striker, just in case everything else fails. Uh, waterproof matches. Of course, I'm gonna have big lighters on me. I smoke, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely have some good, nice big lighters on me. Shout out to Big. Um, these here, I don't even know what she called them. My mama called them something. She got them for me because she's like, I needed these. You know, she's an army veteran. So she's like, you need some of these. We had these when I was in the army. She's, you know, she was stationed in Okinawa, Japan. Shout out to her. Shout out to my mom's. Um, well, yeah, so she got me those, you know. Uh, little insect repellent. My soya mini. Everybody's like, ah, you need the soy squeeze. Like, yeah, well, when we get to that road, we'll cross it. You dig what I'm saying? Backfill. Um, I'm not even sure I need this super big needle. I probably, I know I can do it another way. I've seen it done another way, but it don't weigh too much, man. I ain't really tripping on weight. This pack feel good on me when it was loaded up. I loaded it up, been hiking with it, so it feel pretty good. Toenail clippers. Um, as far as, oh yeah, soya bag, filtration. And I got some aqua tabs somewhere around here. I think they're in this uh, Crown Royal bag. Shout out to Crown Royal too. It's a good drink, especially that apple. Uh, okay, electronics, headlamp, nice headlamp. Energizer, work pretty good, I think. Let me see if I can change the setting. I had it on red uh, yesterday. There we go, red. Nice little red bean for night hiking. Uh, I got this charger here. I got this little cheap charger here from Walmart. I got this charger when I was in Puerto Rico. Matter of fact, when I first got off the plane in Puerto Rico, I got off the plane at like, I think, uh, like 2 o'clock, 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. And I couldn't check into my room till the next day to, to whatever, 12, 1 o'clock or whatever. And, uh, I had to go buy this. First thing I did was walk to the CVS. They had a CVS in Puerto Rico, San Juan. I went and bought this, and I went down to the beach, and I stayed on the beach for the night and just enjoyed the ocean waves and stuff. Like, dolo, you know, solo. That's why I like to move solo, because a lot of people ain't gonna move like that. They gonna, if you were the, uh, most likely if you were the high maintenance type person, they gonna wanna stay in a hotel. We need to check in our room right now. I ain't staying on no damn beach and all that, you know, all that type of stuff. But me, I don't really care. I, don't, I ain't tripping. Um, little MP3 player, four gig. I went to Walmart to get this yesterday. The funny thing is, I bought one. Got home, really didn't even check the bag or anything. Went to go load it up last night, and wasn't no MP3 player in the box, so I had to go back to Walmart and get another one. Get it, you know, go to customer service and get me another one. But I was I was tripping because it's funny because it seemed like. How do people steal from Walmart? Because every time I'm in there, I get followed for some reason. I don't steal. But some reason, every time I'm in there, I turn around and it's a mystery shopper behind me. Or it's a security or something like that, you know. So how do people steal out of there? Because I don't know. Because it seems like I always have an escort with me, which is I, I found kind of funny. Um, but not humorous, if you understand what I'm saying. Um, my little trench shovel wipes. My mini maps. I, of course, I got the AWOL too. Um, I got it on my phone actually. I know y'all all y'all gonna say, oh man, you know, that's kinda dangerous. But yeah, but that's the backup. Pocket maps. There we go. Um, and some read material, man. It's always good to learn a few things. Um I still haven't read this book. My brother sent this to me a while back. Um he sent it home from prison to me. I appreciate you, my brother Keith. Um uh, But yeah, I need to check that out. Um also this. Before color presence, the ancient view of black people, um, before it was uh, interpreted different. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, so it's a lot of good knowledge in here, good artifacts in here. Uh, so yeah, I still haven't read all the way through that. Uh, oh yeah, I also got this big giant charger right here too. These are all backups. This is, I think, uh, 20, 18 or 20,000 uh, milliamps. I think this is around three or four, and this probably is like 2,000, I guess. So I should be good on power. Um, let me see. Things I might take. I might take these goggles. I like these goggles. These ski goggles, yeah, but I like them still. They make me look cool. I feel cool with them on, so I might wear them shits too. Um, 
And also, I was debating on whether to take a pair, a couple pair of gloves. I think I need to take at least one pair. These are my cold, my, my warm weather gloves, and they kind of breathable, so I think they'd be good maybe with the rain. Plus, they got my boys on them. Shout out to the Panthers. The hell with Scam Newton. And, uh, yeah, that's about it, man. Let me see. Yeah, I think uh, I think that about covers it, man. But, yeah, uh, I'm leaving 17th, man, Monday. April 17th, Monday. It's Logo, the Black Alachi. Peace.